but now we know something new. Other questions people ask is, how do you fill a shape? So we're going to fill a shape with a color. Now for this, uh, let's do, let's move pen one. And then we'll do a pen one dot go to. And let's give it um, 100 comma 200. Okay. And then pen one dot down. Now, actually, I'm going to just change this a little bit. I'm going to just tell it to move the pen. Um, Okay, so now we're going to fill a shape. All right, guys, what kind of shape do you want me to make? Triangle. Triangle, okay. Thank you. Now, one other thing that we went over the last time that is, is not on this show yet is how to do a loop. Okay, we're going to do what's called a for loop, and we're going to loop it. Uh, how many sides are there in a triangle again? Three, oh, yeah. For i in range 3. So we're going to repeat, we're going to draw a line and turn three times to create our triangle. Now, actually, before I do this, watch, I forgot about this. We're going to do pen one dot begin underscore fill. So you have to begin the fill first before you can fill it in. So you tell it to begin the fill, then you send it on its path, and that will be the outline. And then when you tell it to end the fill, it actually fill in what it just drew. Does that make sense? Yes? No? It's as clear as Mr. Whitaker's coffee. All right. Uh, pen one dot. Now, should we turn first or should we go forward first? Or should we go backward? Let's let's go forward. Now notice, remember, forward you can write forward, or you can just do FD. So let's just do. Well, look, I'm going to go ahead and make sure. Oops. I'm going to make sure that this makes sense. Let's go forward uh, 75 pixels because I feel like living dangerously. Now, how many degrees? Shall I turn it? If it's going to repeat the same process three times, I need it to be an isosceles triangle. And even if I didn't have to make an isosceles triangle, I would do so because I like saying isosceles. So we need every angle to be even. And all those angles need to add up to 360. So I need uh, one third of 360. Now I could calculate it in my head, or I could let Python do it for me. So watch this. Okay, do we want to turn right or left? Right? Sure. All you left-handed people are really annoyed at me right now. Okay, we're going to give it an angle. So we're going to do 360 divided by 3. We're going to let Python calculate it for us. We don't have to. Now, you could calculate it yourself because you think it's so important that you do the work yourself. But if you did all the work yourself, you wouldn't be writing in Python, would you? You'd be writing in, like, machine language. And this is not a machine language class. So whenever we can, let's let Python do the work for us. All right. Now, um, quick thing I want to point out. For I, that's the letter I. That is not the number one. It is not the letter L. It could be L, but it can't be the number one. I just want to point that out. This is very common format. Okay, so that's the letter I for I in range three. Next, in Python, notice in a loop, you have this colon here. They are two dots. It's not the semicolon. It's the, it's the whole deal. The full-on regular colon. Notice 
These two instructions have a tab between them. They're tabbed out. Notice also, if I'm at the end of the line at the beginning with the colon and I hit enter, it will automatically be tabbed for me. If I forgot to do so and it's not tabbed over, I can hit tab or I can even backspace and bring it to the line before, then hit enter and it will be tabbed over. So when I'm done with my for loop, I need to just backspace so I'm on the far left. And now I'm going to end the fill. Pen1.end fill. Okay? Let's test it out. F5 to save. And run. There's our circle. There's our half circle. There's our triangle. Pretty nice, huh?